Uh, and it's sort of, I, it happens all the time. I've done it before. Um, all right, guys, uh, let's get into it. We're about to head into another weekend here. It is a Friday morning edition of Wake Up America. Amy Tarkani, we'll start with you. What are you watching for as we head into the weekend? And, and could you be a possible buyer of some of Hunter Biden's artwork? Uh, unfortunately, no. Pick up my one or two paintings, maybe? With family photos and uh, artwork from my children, uh, which they're actually more talented. So maybe I should start selling those. I don't know. Wait, do you, by uh, the way, guys, do you think his artwork, I actually don't think his artwork is that bad. I mean, I think what he's doing is deplorable. Um, I think it's pay to play. Uh, but the artwork is kind of, I mean, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. Rachel Roller, no, what do you think? You know, I'm a bad person to ask, considering I don't totally understand art. No, but that's the beauty of art. It's in right. the eye of the beholder. beholder. I don't know what that one is right there. I think Amy's kids' art is probably fantastic. And I can't yes. wait to have some of that on my walls, too. I've got my kids' artwork all over the house, framed, by the way. And every time people come over, they're like, oh, it's so cute. But I feel like it shouldn't be in the living room. You know? It shouldn't and now be in the my, living room. My 11-year-old is into NFTs, so we'll see what happens there. <laughs> Maybe we'll make some money. Some digital art, yeah. None. It's there we go. Fungible. What are those? Tokens. Tokens. I don't know. I don't I, understand. I don't it. know what that is. Oh, we didn't even <laughs> I'm get just to it. Trying to figure okay. out the hashtag. Rob Finnerty is a fan of Hunter Biden's artwork. I'm trying to figure out how that hashtag will work out. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Mm -hmm. I just I think that criticizing the actual work itself is lazy. Um, I think you need to criticize the fact that he claims he doesn't know who the buyers are going to be, um, and his artwork is going to go on sale over the next couple of weeks here. Um, and I just am wondering how these buyers are going to be kept anonymous from the White House, because I think Hunter Biden is selling this artwork for anywhere between seventy five thousand and a half million dollars. And it, it, apparently these buyers are going to be kept anonymous from the White House. But we've been given no information about what that process looks like. That's what I'm criticizing. That, that, that is worth criticizing because the Biden administration, with more secrecy, uh, not being completely open and transparent, because the reality is Hunter Biden has made a career out of peddling his father's influence uh, for political personal gain. And there's a lot of questions about, right. will this be another attempt at that? This clearly isn't uh, some artist that has uh, been working on it for years. Now, obviously, it's open to interpretation, but he's no Picasso by any measurement. <laughs> no. And uh, certainly... Uh, when you look at what this art could possibly be going for and the potential influence from foreign, uh, um, you know, interest, it's certainly worth being open and transparent. And the Biden administration has been flat out unwilling to do that. And it's uh, it raises a lot of suspicion. Yeah, I like Picasso's stuff, though. It's kind of, I don't know, maybe I don't have much of an eye for it. But basically, what, what's that, Rachel? <laughs> Who knew you were such a man of the arts? I love, no, my favorite impressionist is <laughs> Claude Monet. I like I liked daylilies. Uh, but no, people are buying art at massively inflated prices from Hunter Biden for access to the White House. That's what's happening here. That's, mm -hmm. I'm distilling that, of course. Um, we never got to what you're watching for, by the way. <laughs> we have to get to what you're watching for. Um, we'll do that at the top of the hour. Uh, a lot happening this weekend, so a lot to get into. Panel, I enjoyed it. T.W. Shannon, Amy Tarkany, we'll see you in just a little bit. All right, coming up next year on Wake Up America, Indiana Congresswoman Jackie Walorski is going to join us to talk about the House's expected vote on an abortion bill. Will it pass? What's the fate of that bill? Keep it here. We'll get into that next. Stay with us. Mike Lindell, inventor and CEO of MyPillow. My employees and I would like to personally thank each and every one of you for all your support. I would like to tell you about my new platform, frankspeech.com. It's an amazing new broadcast network and social media site with great shows, including my own live show, Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Also, you can go to frankspeech.com now to get the best prices on my pillow and my store products. For example, you can get my six pack towel set, normally $109.99, now only $39.99 with your promo code. And if you buy one of my Giza Dream Sheets, you get another one absolutely free with your promo code. So go to frankspeech.com now and use the promo code on your screen or call the 1-800 number below to receive these exclusive MyPillow offers. Thank you and God bless.
Attention farm, orchard, or vineyard workers who now suffer from Parkinson's. If you were exposed to Paraquat while you or others were spraying it, or you worked in fields after it was sprayed and now suffer from Parkinson's, call Ferrer, Perot, and Wandsboro right now. The herbicide Paraquat may be to blame for your Parkinson's, and you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Call 1-800-836-5100. That's 1-800-836-5100. 1-800-836-5100. Australian Dream presents real people, real stories, real relief. When I was a kid, I broke my ankle. My doctor told me I probably have arthritis at the site of the break. So before I exercise, I always put on Australian Dream. Australian Dream has a special formula that penetrates deep into your painful muscles and joints, increasing blood flow and bringing effective relief. Australian Dream really works. Australian Dream is available at your favorite retailer. Do you have any idea how your mattress affects your body and how well you sleep? Is it too hard or too soft, causing you to wake up with sore shoulders, back, or hips? Are you uncomfortable because you're too hot or too cold? Now you can get the total body support you need and the better sleep you want with the new MyPillow mattress topper. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell. When I invented my new MyPillow mattress topper, I made it to have everything you'd ever want in a topper. My mattress topper helps give you the support you need, helps relieve your pressure points, and regulates your body temperature for you as an individual. It comes with a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry the cover. It's made in the USA, and I back it with my 60-day money-back guarantee. Go to MyPillow.com or call now to get your very own MyPillow mattress topper. Use the promo code, and Mike will give you 30% off and two standard MyPillows absolutely free. Order now. MyPillow topper delivers on its promise to give me a better night's sleep. I can sleep all night through, and it's a miracle for me. Mike's exclusive three-layer design starts with a layer of MyPillow foam, providing you superior support and comfort. The second layer of transitional foam evenly distributes body weight and helps relieve uncomfortable pressure points for optimal comfort. Mike's Ultra Soft Outer Layer is a patented temperature-regulating cover that helps keep you at your ideal sleeping temperature all night long. Unlike other sleep systems costing thousands, the MyPillow mattress topper takes comfort to a whole new level without any wires, remotes, or moving parts. Call now or go to MyPillow.com to order your MyPillow topper. Use the promo code to save 30%. When you do, Mike will give you two of his standard MyPillows absolutely free. That's right, two standard MyPillows free and 30% off your MyPillow topper today. Order now. I personally guarantee it's going to change your bed into the most comfortable bed you'll ever own. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. The House is set to vote on legislation later today aimed at guaranteeing a woman's right to an abortion. This in response to the recently passed Texas law that bans most abortions. Joining us now to talk more about this, Indiana Congresswoman Jackie Walorski. Congresswoman, so nice to see you again. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Um, this bill, uh, it has a, uh, it, it, an unsure fate in the Senate, but it is expected to pass mostly symbolically in the House today. Uh, Congresswoman, why is this bill so important? Here's the thing. This is an abortion on demand bill for any reason, any time up into birth. This is such an extreme bill. And you know, what's really interesting is the liberals in, in this Congress love to call pro-life Americans, and because of our convictions, they call us extreme. But, Rob, this is an extreme bill for an extreme small amount of people in this country. You know, I've seen what extreme looks like when it comes to abortion. It's cruel. And, you know, just a couple of years ago, an Indiana abortionist doctor, Ulrich Klopfer, died. His family found the medically preserved remains of 2,400 children in his garage. This guy was a monster. Uh, he left a legacy of death and destruction. He represents the culture of abortion. And, you know, that made national news, a camera scanning 2,400 little bottles, jars on his shelves with little whole babies in them. This is what we're talking about. The Democrats want this in, in an extreme measure. And I can tell you, um, I'm going to be speaking on the floor as well today to make sure that I cast a no to extreme unlimited abortions and hopefully bring some of my Democratic colleagues along. Do you plan to share that story on the House floor today? You bet I do, because you know what? 
We ch I, when I was in Indiana House, we chased this doctor for 10 years in the state of Indiana. He literally had a route. He lived in Chicago, performed abortions there, and he continued through in my district at the time at South Bend, performed thousands of abortions in the state of Indiana. And when those jars with those babies were unveiled to the country, trying to match who those mothers were and how to identify those remains, it was impossible because unlimited abortion paid for by taxpayers is extreme it's cruel it's not where the american voters are and you know i think it will pass the house today because pelosi leads an extremely left agenda but i pray and i know a lot of other people around the country believe that this will stop in the senate it should never pass the house that it is should uh... never be Oh, unlimited abortion. That, that's a really difficult story to hear. Uh, that stopped me in my tracks. My goodness. Um, this, again, this bill will be symbolic today. I, I, I don't think it, it stands a chance to pass in the Senate, um, as you know. But I wanted to get your reaction. The California Governor Gavin Newsom, uh, he signed two bills a little bit earlier this week, allowing kids to hide sex operations and abortions from their parents. And the governor of the biggest state in the country actually signed these bills. And then just yesterday, the House in Massachusetts is now allowing people to change their sex on their birth certificates. I'm not even sure if I am still in possession of my birth certificate. I, I had to text my mom. Maybe she has it. Um, but how bizarre is what's happening right now in this country? Unchecked, largely. I would say absolutely. You, you're spot on. It's bizarre and it's extreme. The majority of people in this country are sitting back and shaking their heads and saying, what has happened in this nation in the eight months of the Biden administration? That's not where I am. That's not where I live. I hear this every day from my constituents. So I would say, you know, it's, it's another attempt to divide people. It's another attempt to take this way left liberal lifestyle and try to convince America that's where the majority of people are. It's not. You know what? We're still common sense based Americans. I still believe that parents should have all kinds of notice on what their children are doing. The parents are still the parents. The children are still the children. And, you know, in my district in, in Indiana, that's what we believe and that's how we live. And, you know, Rob, I think this could be one of the most consequential votes I ever take and make as, as a member of Congress. I know it's, it's symbolic, but symbolism matters. You know, pictures matter. They certainly do. And I I want to stand up. I want people in my district to know that I'm absolutely against abortion on demand, and I always will be. Congresswoman, thank you so much. Uh, the first draft of history uh, when it comes to this topic starts this morning on the House floor. Jackie Walorski of Indiana, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. All right. Rachel? Well, the House approving a standalone bill to give Israel $1 billion to replenish Iron Dome missiles after two days of a contentious debate within the Democrat Party, that vote overwhelmingly passing 420 to 9. Our foreign correspondent in Israel, Daniel Cohen, live in Tel Aviv this morning with reaction. Daniel. Good morning to you, Rachel, and good morning, everyone. There were fireworks, there were tears before a major rebuke of the far left Thursday. Florida Democrat Ted Deutsch calling squad member Rashida Tlaib anti-Semitic for referring to Israel as an apartheid state. After the vote, AOC could be seen crying and seeking comfort from other lawmakers. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez appearing to be consoled by fellow Democrats Thursday after the chamber overwhelmingly passed funding for Israel's Iron Dome. Earlier this week, AOC and the far left forced Democratic leadership in the House to scrap military aid to Israel in a bill to keep the government funded until December. At times, the debate over this standalone bill for Iron Dome got ugly. I will not support an effort to enable and support war crimes, human rights abuses, and violence. We cannot ta be talking only about Israelis' need for safety at a time when Palestinians are living under a violent apartheid system. Florida Democrat Ted Deutsch delivered a blistering response. I cannot allow one of my colleagues to stand on the floor of the House of Representatives and label the Jewish Democratic state of Israel an apartheid state. That's anti-Semitism, and I reject that. Republicans blasted members across the aisle, accusing them of caving to the progressives and failing to stand by our Democratic ally. GOP lawmakers have repeatedly blasted Tlaib's rhetoric on Israel. She opposes this because they have a vocal minority in the majority party that is anti-Israel, that is anti-Semitic, and as Americans, we can never stand for that. 
Instead of standing by her opposition in Thursday's vote, AOC broke ranks with the squad by voting present at the last minute. Israel's Prime Minister Naftali Bennett thanked members of Congress from both parties for their overwhelming support of Israel and commitment to its security. Whoever tries to challenge that support got their answer today, he added. The people of Israel thank the American people and their representatives for their strong friendship. And Iron Dome funding now heads to the Senate along with a stopgap bill. While Republicans have refused to help Democrats raise the debt ceiling, there is broad support for Israel amongst both parties in the Senate, and uh, the Iron Dome funding is expected to go ahead and move forward. Daniel Cohen reporting in Tel Aviv for you live right now. Rachel, back to you. All right, Daniel, thank you so much. And as we head to break, don't forget to download the Newsmax app. You'll never miss a story like that one. You can take us with you wherever you go. It's free to download in your app store. We'll be right back. You're watching Wake Up America. It's our America. We built it. Courage. Freedom. Millions go to Newsmax when they need to know. Start today on the free Newsmax app. Newsmax is real news for real people. If the IRS wants your money, they may take it. Your paychecks, bank accounts, house, or business. Almost nothing is off limits. If you owe back taxes, don't take on the IRS alone. Leave it to Anthem Tax. Anthem Tax has managed over $425 million in tax debt and helped thousands of people just like you to resolve their tax debt. Anthem Tax can also settle state debt and even personal and business liabilities. Don't wait another day. It's important to take action while you still have options. Call now and in just a few minutes, you could be speaking with one of our tax experts discussing your situation and we can even call the IRS with you and begin resolving your tax problems today. Best of all, the call is completely free. Our team of attorneys and tax experts are ready to fight for you. There's a reason why Anthem Tax has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Call Anthem Tax now. When work flies out of control, Harrelson's Zone keeps me cool as a cucumber. When the kids turn unholy, Harrelson's own keeps my patience divine. Life can be chaotic, but Harrelson's own CBD helps keep you calm through any storm. Harrelson's own consistently delivers you full mind and body homeostasis. It's an organic full spectrum CBD in a refreshing oil spray. Our nano emulsified technology makes it completely water soluble, so your body absorbs it immediately. You'll start to feel it in seconds, not 60 minutes. It just makes everything feel better. Give your life a boost. It's just the best you've ever felt in your natural state. Go to harrelsonzone.com to order yours now. I will bless those who bless you. Here in Israel and across the former Soviet Union, there are thousands of...